and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at short and structural formula. Short and structural formula allows us to write out the full structural formula of a molecule without showing the bonds. To be able to do this, we need to chop the molecule up into the different sections. And we do this by looking at the carbons and the atoms attached to them. We can see that this molecule can be broken up into four different sections. We then simply count up what atoms there are and we write that out. So in this first section, we have CH3. In the next section, we have CH2, then CH2, and then finally CH3. What happens if we have a branch? We still chop up the molecule, but this time we include the branch as being part of this section here. In the first section, we have a carbon and three hydrogens. And in the next section, we look at the carbon directly attached to that first carbon. We have a carbon and a hydrogen, CH. In brackets, we then put what we have in the branch. We have CH3. The brackets indicate that this part is joined to the carbon before. We then move on to the next section, CH2. And then finally, CH3. When we try to open this up into the full structural formula, we take each section in turn and add the lines back in. So here we have a carbon joined to three hydrogens. Carbons have to have four bonds, so the fourth bond is then joined to the next carbon, which is joined to two hydrogens and to another carbon, which is also joined to two hydrogens. This is then joined to another carbon with two hydrogens and then our final carbon with three hydrogens. Here we have examples with branches. We take the carbon all the way to the section at the end of the bracket here and they will be in one section together. For the first section we have carbon joined to three hydrogens. This is then joined to a carbon with a hydrogen that we can see here and then we have a branch section. This is coming off of this carbon and it itself has three hydrogens. This is then joined to another carbon which has a hydrogen attached to it and then another branch also joined to that carbon. We then move on to have a CH2 group, another CH2 and then ending with a CH3. Pause the video now and try to draw these examples as short and structural formula or as full structural formula. In the first example, we will break this up into sections. In the red box we have CH3. In the yellow box we have a CH which has a CH3 branch which we'll put in brackets. And in the blue box we have CH3. Here we have our red section, yellow section, our blue section, and then finally the green section. In the red section, we have CH3. We then have CH with a CH3 branch, another CH with a CH3 branch, and then ending with a CH3. For the examples that we're opening up, we need to section these off, taking care to look at where the brackets are. In the red section, we have a carbon joined to three hydrogens. This is then joined to a carbon with one hydrogen and a CH3 branch. Joined to a CH2 group. Joined to another CH2 group. To a third CH2 group. And then finally, a CH3. In this second example, we have multiple branches. So we start off with a CH3 group joined to a CH with a CH3 branch, which is joined to just a C. We can see in this bracket there's a 2 on the outside, which means that we have two CH3 branches off of this carbon. This is then joined to a CH2, another CH2, a final CH2, 
and then ending with the CH3 group. How would we do this for the alkenes? Again, we're going to section the molecule off into the different carbon sections, and then we will write this out without any bonds. So here we start with a CH2. This is joined to a CH, a CH2, and a final CH3. The fact that we can see that each of these carbons does not have its full valency provided by the number of hydrogens attached allows us to know that we have a double bond between them. We can also have alkenes with branches. This first section we have a CH3. We then have a carbon with a carbon with a branch. We then have a CH and a CH3. If we want to draw these out as full structural formula, we'll section them off as we have previously. So we have a carbon joined to two hydrogens. This is then joined to a CH and then a CH3. Every carbon needs to have four bonds and we can see here this one only has three, as does this one. So we can put a double bond between them as their fourth bond. Here we have an example of an alkene which also has branches. Our first carbon has three hydrogens attached. This is joined to a single carbon which has two CH3 branches. This is joined to a CH which is joined to another CH and then a CH2 with a CH3 to finish the molecule. You can see here that these two carbons only have three bonds and they need to have four, so we can put in the double bond between them as their fourth bond. Pause the video now and draw a shortened structural formula or full structural formula. In this first example, we will section off the molecule to allow us to draw out the shortened structural formula. In the first section, we have CH3, we then have CH, CH, CH3. This next example has an alkene with branches, so we can section this off. In the first section we have CH3, we then have CH. This is joined to a C on its own with a branch of CH3. We then have CH2, CH2 and finally CH3. For drawing full structural formula, we need to take care for any brackets that we have and make sure we include those with the carbon before. Here we have a CH2 joined to a carbon with a CH3 branch, joined to a CH2, to a carbon with an H and a CH3 branch, and then finally a CH3. We can see that these carbons here do not have all of the bonds that they require, so we can put in the double bond so that they each have four bonds. In our final example, we can section this off and we have a CH2 joined to a carbon with a CH3 branch, joined to another CH3. The first two carbons do not have four bonds, so we can put in a double bond to make them have their full valency. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!